Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ project. So this video is going to help you get your IR remote working again on freshly installed Android firmware on your Android TV box. So say you've bricked your box and you've had to go out and find some brand new firmware for it and you've managed to install that but unfortunately the IR remote isn't working or you've maybe installed the Lollipop S805 build from the other week which we did a video on. Now there's a good chance the IRM remote wasn't working with that particular S805 Lollipop build. So this video is going to come in useful for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an application called ES File Explorer, which is a really well known file management tool. And all we're going to use this tool for is to navigate to the something called an etc folder and simply place a remote config file into this folder and restart your box. And hopefully everything should start working again. Now, personally, I really don't like IR remotes. They are not very responsive, they're very slow, and they can be very frustrating. But if it's all you've got, then this video is gonna come in useful for you. So, this is a very simple process. It's only gonna take about five minutes, and let's move on to the first part. So first thing you need, you need to go and grab a few remote config files. I'll provide a link to a couple of them. I can't guarantee they're going to work for your particular remote. But you can certainly give them a go. Now this tutorial can be actually used to extract remote config files from Android as well. Say you want to maybe try LibreLeck or something like that and you need to work in remote config file. This can be used to actually do that. So you're going to need two applications. You're going to need super user. This is this one here. This is going to give you root permissions so you can actually go into certain folders. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a really simple application. Just install it like you do any of Android app. And you're going to need ES File Explorer. Now, this is a really well-known file management tool. Again, you can get this from the Play Store. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm not going to show you how to do it because installing apps and etc. is pretty self-explanatory. So load up ES File Explorer. And what we need to do is we need to enable Root Explorer. So as you can see, I've already done mine. But just click on there and what happens is Super User will ask for permission. And just click OK and proceed onwards. So what you need to do is you need to click on internal storage. And just here you'll see a forward slash. And then you'll see your etc folder. Now in here you, you, you'll have your remote config files. So as you can see, we've got one there. If you do have any, and obviously they're not working, all you need to do is just delete those. Again, just if you're using a mouse, just long left hand click and then delete. Now you need to make sure your root explorer is enabled because it won't let you delete that if it's not enabled. So come back out of here. Now where we've placed those remote config files, obviously on our external SD card, so it's just displayed here. Click into there. And you'll see my remote.config file ready to be ready to be transferred. Again, long click, left hand click, and just copy it. Come back out there, go back into internal storage. Again, click this little forward slash to get to these sections of folders. Click into the etc folder, and then click paste. And that is pretty much it. So if you again, if you want to extract a remote config file, just come into this etc folder. Click down, click copy, and come back out and go into your SD card and then just click paste. Now, this can be used to obviously take these remote config files from here and then place them into LibreLeck or something like that. So, that is pretty much how to get your IR remote working again. Once you've actually transferred that file, just restart your box and then see if that if your remote's working. Now if it isn't wor working, you can try the other remote files we've got, or you can go elsewhere and find those config files. So guys, that was it. Pretty simple, right? So this actual tutorial can be used to actually extract remote config files as well. So maybe you've got a Android box where you want to try LibreLeck on, maybe the MXQ or the MXQ Pro, or something like that. Now you've got Android on there, of course, and you want to try LibreLeck, and you try LibreLeck and the remote doesn't work. 
or you've got working remote config files in your Android system. So just go into there, grab it from that etc folder and then transfer it over to LibreLeg. I've got another video of how to get LibreLeg working with your IR remote as well. And again, I'll leave that link in the description. So hopefully this tutorial has helped, helped you get your remote working. If it has, give me a like. If it hasn't, give me a dislike. And of course, you can join us on our forum, msqproject.com and our Facebook group as well. Again, links in the description. So until next time, guys, have a good one.